So, as many of you know, when the WWE made the announcement earlier this week that Raw was going to air live both Christmas Day and New Year's Day, that they were actually going to shoot these shows live, there was a lot of internet outrage via the different social media platforms amongst the wrestling community. How dare the WWE do this? It just shows how greedy this corporation is. They don't care about their fans and da da da. These guys and gals want to spend time with their families and clearly the WWE doesn't care and all of that stuff. And, you know, thinking about it, I have a couple of different perspectives on this. First, it's crazy to me how much the business has changed over the years because it used to be the Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day, New Year's Day shows were some of the biggest shows of the year. You wanted to work those shows. Because the best of the best in the territory days used to work those shows. Those are the shows with some of the biggest payoffs of the year. So it's fascinating to me over the years how the business has changed to now where fans are legitimately getting upset that these guys are having to work the holidays. It's interesting. I'm not saying it's all the way good. I'm not saying it's all the way bad. It's just a very striking, noticeable change to me about how the business has evolved and changed over the years. But then I look at it from the perspective talking about WWE. And I say, give me a break. I'm not buying the network is forcing them to do it crap because that either a speaks to how much of the testicular fortitude that Vince used to brag about him having he has lost as he has gotten grayer and older and more senior citizen -y, or b it's just the WWE looking for a cop out and an excuse to mask and disguise their own greed. The bottom line here is I just don't see where USA Network would be in a position where they would feel like they had to insist on both the Christmas Day and New Year's Day shows being live, like that's going to make any type of difference whatsoever. Like whatsoever. Because it just won't. You're talking about going up against two of the biggest holidays of the year and knowing that every time the WWE does a holiday show, the ratings dip significantly for that week. What difference is it going to make if that Christmas Day show is taped on the 23rd or that New Year's Day show, frankly, is taped on the 23rd or on the 30th or whatever the case might be. Oh, the spoilers are going to get out there. It's not going to matter. It just isn't because the ratings for those two shows are going to be in the shitter anyways. And from the WWE standpoint, why would you risk the negative PR that comes along with this, especially knowing for the Christmas Day show, you're not going to do a whole lot of serious consequential stuff anyways. It's going to be a crappy holiday-themed show, and we all know that's what's going to happen. So yeah, shame on the WWE for putting this out there, because you don't have to do, and I refuse to believe that they do, you do not have to do live shows on Christmas Day and New Year's Day. You could have sat there and taped shit on the 23rd, you could have taped both Raw and SmackDown that week and given your talent a few days off. You could have said, you guys have the 24th, the 25th, the 26th off. You'll come back here. Frankly, you could have done two weeks worth of Raw tapings ahead of time because, again, what difference is it really going to make? Because even if you say, well, that's a big risk to take for back-to-back -back weeks, you still have several weeks before you have to build up to the Royal Rumble anyways once you get into 2018. It's just, to me, a bad decision. It actually was an opportunity for them to cut some production costs because we know the WWE is very much about cutting production costs at this point. Here's a chance by doing pre-taped shows to cut some of those production costs. Doing multiple cho shows at the same venue on the same night and putting them in the can and having them done ahead of time. And then the morale that you get from your talents actually being able to be home for the holidays and everybody getting a few days off, getting a few days of rest. I know Vince McMahon doesn't believe in vacation time. He doesn't believe in time off. He believes sleep is the enemy. But Jesus Christ, not everybody is Vince McMahon. And it is reflective of his piss-poor leadership over the years that he thinks everybody is just like him. Everybody is not just like him. When you're in a business like that or any other business and you're managing people, you're ultimately managing people and their personalities and you're ultimately babysitting. And what business in their right mind thinks that this is going to go over well, that your talent have to work on some of the most notable holidays of the year? And then furthermore, on top of that, knowing that not only are you going to get creamed because it's Christmas Day and New Year's Day, but knowing you're going to be going up against both NBA and I believe NFL games on Christmas Day 
And then you're talking about New Year's Day. You're going to be going up against uh, college football all day. You're going to get creamed in the ratings even more. You cannot pretend like doing this or doing that is going to make any difference at all on those days. Because we know it just won't. Fewer people will be home to watch TV in general. A lot of people won't be bothered to care about watching TV because they'll be in holiday mode with their families or watching holiday-related things or playing with the new toys the kids got under the tree from Santa Claus. It's just ridiculous. It's greedy. It's stupid. It's selfish. And screw Vince and the WWE for putting their talent in that situation, frankly. But with that said, I don't feel much of any sympathy for the performers and the workers within WWE. Tough shit. This is part of the deal. You know going to work for somebody like WWE and the schedule that you run, there's always the chance that you could work Christmas Day and New Year's Day. So if somebody back there doesn't like it, then either A, shut up and deal with it, like most of the rest of the working world does that has to work on the holidays, or B, Leave the company if it bothers you so goddamn bad. Or C, in some cases, probably fake an injury so that way you get that time off. And we'll see probably a couple of people, maybe Breakfast Club members, do so. But in the grand scheme of things, you know, talking about, oh, it's important to spend time with family. It shouldn't take a specific holiday for it to be important to spend time with your family. It's just kind of dumb. And that kind of it reflects the commercialization of the holiday season and all that crap. But... With that said, so many other people out there in the working world have to work Christmas Day and New Year's Day. And while I'm in a position where I no longer have to with my job for years in my teens and in my 20s, I had to. Even as I would listen to other people complain in companies that I work work for saying, oh my God, I can't believe I have to be here at Black Friday at 4 a.m. Hey, fuck you, buddy. I'm in the warehouse And I got to work on the actual Thanksgiving Day. Or I got to work on Christmas Day because we're not shutting down for that shit. You know, so these people that complain about this, you know, be thankful you have what you have. And especially from the WWE standpoint, I know sometimes from a fan and outsider's perspective, sitting there and going to the money is kind of like a cop-out thing. But let's face it, these people are compensated pretty well to do what they do. So I feel little sympathy for them when I know there are other people that are lucky to get time and a half for working a Thanksgiving day or a Christmas day. And even when they work their time and a half, it maybe gets them up to 12 bucks an hour. Not feeling a whole lot of sympathy. And especially don't feel a whole lot of sympathy because NBA players every year, several teams play on Christmas day. The NFL for years plays on Thanksgiving day. They play on Christmas Eve, Christmas day. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, college football teams play on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, Thanksgiving Day. That's that's just life in sports. That's just life in entertainment. And if you don't like it, then get the hell out of the business. Yes, it sucks that your company doesn't value you enough and your personal life enough to sit there and prioritize giving you some time off at such an important time of the year. But ultimately, you signed up for this shit. And you know how Vince and the WWE really truly are. So if you don't like it, that's too bad. Deal with it. Because so many other people out there in the world have to deal with this crap. And including other entertainers and other athletes, they've got to work these days too. And in a lot of cases, they don't bitch about it. They they enjoy it. Because those, again are the big featured spotlight type of games. While they might not be 100% happy about being away from their friends and family, come holiday time, they find a way to deal with it. And ultimately, that's what the guys and gals in WWE are going to have to do, is hashtag deal with it. Because I know, at least from me, as stupid as I think it is, and how dumb I think it is on the WWE standpoint to do this, I feel absolutely no sympathy for you. We can switch spots. Give me your salary... And I will gladly work Christmas Day and New Year's Day. And you can take my salary and have those days off. I promise you, I will be just as happy, if not happier, than you. That's all I'm saying.